gonna give a shout out. I'm gonna give a shout out real quick. Uh, all praises to Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai. Uh, we out here in Columbus, Ohio, pushing his word. We're gonna give double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. Charlotte Wamso, you brothers doing the work. We just about to get it. Uh, I do that. What are you doing? Y'all got anything? All right, I got one then. I got one. Okay. Really, all the scriptures go into the same. I didn't want to read this scripture. Yeah, I never, you know, I was reading the same one earlier. This is 1 Samuel, uh, well, this was 1 Samuel 2 and 1. It's dealing with Hannah, right? She was praying for her son. Y'all know that story. 1 Samuel 2 and 1, and Hannah prayed and said, My heart rejoiceth in the Lord. Mine horn is exalted in the Lord. My mouth is enlarged over mine enemies because I rejoice in that salvation. There is none holy as Yahweh. Because that's what, when you see Lord in all caps for the camera, that means in the Hebrew it says God's name, Yahweh. Uh, what does it say? There is none holy as Yahweh, for there is none beside thee, neither is there any rock like our power. But this is right here. Talk no more exceeding proudly. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth, for Yahweh is a power of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. But you said, you know, the Most High, he's a God of knowledge. He deals with knowledge and truth. And like, and it also said, don't be talking exceedingly proud. Y'all, these people talk proud, like we were saying when we came up. Like we was talking about the radio show host, they all proud. They think America gonna continue forever. They think their way of life gonna continue forever. I mean, these people, they don't even think, they ain't got it in mind that I might die today. That every day I be thinking, I, I can, today might be my last day. Cause you got people, they planning for next week, next month. They just know for sure they gonna make it till Christmas. You know what I mean? They, Cause you're, they got that proud spirit. I gotta read that joke. Make it to retirement. Yeah. You don't know, man, today, that's why the scriptures say, Take no thought for tomorrow. Oh, oh, there you go, there you go. That's the spirit, that's the spirit. Yeah, this is Psalm 73 and five. They are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. Therefore, pride compasseth them about as a chain. Violence covereth them as a garment. Yeah, that's their garment. See, our garment is this truth. We cover it with a garment of light. These, these fools out here uh, wear that garment of violence, the garment of death. They, they wear, I was walking the, watching The Walking Dead last night. You see how Negan with the I gun? see it. I oh, see wait. It. You know what? You know how The Walking Dead, they put all the zombie guts on it? Yeah. That, that's the garment these fools are wearing. Guts. You know what I mean? Yeah, man, because Negan ain't been showing out, man. Oh, he's in the new one. Oh, is he really? Cool? Oh, he is. Cool. And that's their garment. They wear that garment of death. So you got a badge or a label, you know? Oh yeah, don't let no Jake be your manager at your job. He got a manager position at some raggedy ass job. He think he a president or a general of an army or something. He shout out orders. Like y'all better listen to me, you know what I mean? Don't do no work. Therefore, um, Psalms 10 and 4. The wicked through the pride of his captains would not seek after the Most High. The Most High, the Howard Shimmy Howard Shai, is not in all his thoughts. Right, like all night this morning, man. All night, man. I'm, I'm meditating on this truth, man. I'm meditating on this truth, man. That ain't pride, that's fear. You know? That's fear. What what is uh these people meditating on? The average person, what are they meditating on? The world. The world. Worldliness. You know? Get away with the, what they're about to You're do. Great America. <laughs> really, I feel sorry for him. I mean, I, I don't feel sorry for him, but I kind of feel sorry for him. Cause they got no knowledge. I, what kind of person? How would you, if you didn't walk around just being retarded all day? You know what I mean? That, that ain't no kind of life to live. A life with no knowledge, no truth. Dumbass. You just walk around retarded. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 31 and 29. 
For I know that after my death, you will utterly corrupt yourself and turn aside from the way which I have commanded you. Oh, this is what Moses, that's what, I love this scripture. But Moses, he, he said, he told the Israelites, I already know y'all are wicked, and as soon as I die, you, 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 you're just going to be even more wicked. You know what I mean? That's how Israel does it. You know, any chance they get, it's like, they say, yeah, right. You give them an inch, they take a mile. You know what I mean? Look at judges. Every time the righteous judge died, they would go right back, right back to what they were doing. Yeah. Hey, that tells you that you do need a leader. Because some people say we don't need leaders or a head. But you do need, you got to have somebody uh, getting on your ass. Hey, like the uh, elder put out that order. We got to do three videos. That, that was a good thing. That made me do more videos. You know what I mean? You need someone to put a foot up your ass sometimes. You know, to get you motivated. It's like you got a football coach. A, a good coach ain't going to be all nice to you. He's going to work you hard. And then you're going to win a championship. After all, all, the more work you put in, the, you know, the greater chance you're going to win that championship. What was that one used to call my dad, Joe, you know? How much he loved discipline my ass. I said, always make changes. Yep. Oh. Bobby Knight. Bobby Knight. Yeah, Bobby Knight will curse you out. My favorite coach of all time. Yeah, he's the best coach in any sport. Coach of all time, and all, all the players years later would say, the hell with basketball, Bobby Knight taught me how to be a man. Yeah, that's right. And they black this too, man. They black while working on the ball. What's wrong with teaching somebody discipline? Can't take that record away from him. He's still in one of the top winning percentage of all time. Uh, win, top titles, wins. Titles. And titles, too. He wants a championship. Hey, he was so passionate. They said he'd be driving down the street. He's seen little kids playing basketball. If they did something wrong, he'd get out and correct them. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how you got to be with the truth, man. You got to be constantly thinking about it, you know? You see someone do, uh, doing something wrong or teaching something wrong, you gotta go show them the right way. And evil will befall you in the later days, because ye will do evil in the sight of the Lord to provoke him to anger through the work of your hands. And as we in the latter days right now, we in the last days. And that's all you see is evil out here. The work of people's hands is just evil. Hey, Columbus done hit how many murders? They going for the record uh, for murders in Columbus this year. I think they gonna get it. There's just another murder last night up by Cleveland Avenue. Yeah. They, well, we act, now they have having one murder a, a day. Every day. Every day. It's, this is beautiful, man. I love it, man. Shit. Yeah. Blood touches blood. That thing was up on Granville Road in Cleveland, somewhere up there. Someone got killed. Recorded that. You quoted the scripture earlier. I got two scriptures. I'm gonna read this one further. This is uh, James 4:13. Go to now, ye that say today or tomorrow we will go into such a city and continue there a year and buy and sell and get gain. Whereas ye know that it's like whereas ye know not what shall be on tomorrow. For what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeared for a little time and then vanishes away. For that ye ought to say, if the Lord will, we shall live and do this or that. But now you, you rejoice in your boasting, which means you brag is what the word boasting means. It says, all such rejoicing is evil. Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, it to him is sin. Hey, that's a good scripture. Yeah, because you don't, because you know the average person, don't, they don't think that, like, I might die today. Today might be my last day. We think that every day. We, we like this. Uh, you got that other scripture that says take the Matthew. Uh, oh, which yeah. one was you going to get? I'll leave it to Jeremiah. Which one was okay, saying? whatever. That's a good point. Sure. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Sure, sure, sure. Whatever you want. But, yeah, because the average person, they're not thinking, like, you know, today might be my last day. They know for sure, oh, we're going to have that big Thanksgiving dinner. Was that, Thursday? On Thursday? And Thanksgiving is not in the Bible. That was not prescribed by the Lord. And why did they, you know, Thursday... Why is Thursday called Thursday? That comes from the Norse god Thor. Just like Wednesday comes from Woden. Friday comes from Freda. All the day days of the week are named after the Norse gods. So y'all celebrate Thanksgiving every year on Thor's Day. That, that's a pagan feast. Go ahead. Uh, let me get this Matthew 2. Let me get this Matthew 5, uh, yeah, 6 and 25. <laughs> 
Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what you shall eat. This one you want, right? And what you shall drink, nor yet for your body, what you shall put on, is not the life more than meat in the body than remnant. Right, because hey, that's why the Lord's Prayer says what? Give us this day our daily bread. That's all we ask for. And we know the Lord going to take care of us. Hey, like, hey, like soon they're going to start mi microchipping people. A lot of people don't believe in the Bible. Oh, you're going to see the Bible's true when they start microchipping people, which is the mark of the beast mentioned in Revelation. And as soon, if you don't have that chip, if you don't, if you don't have that microchip, you ain't going to be able to buy nothing at the store. You ain't going to be able to get Medicare, Medicaid, food stamps. You won't be able to ride a Coda bus. Definitely ain't going to get no pass. The passports already got a chip in it. You know that? But if we don't take it, the Lord's still gonna feed us. He's still gonna take care of us. He's gonna fight, he gonna give us our daily bread no matter what. Okay, the Lord, the Lord told me to put you just there. The point is we move with fear. Every day we wake up, we live with fear. We live with fear. So we ain't comfortable with God. Right, when you drive down the street, in our car, we, we driving in fear, like, oh shit. You know, just, the, the cops can pull you over, rob you, take your, what, what do you think that, you ever hear that term highway robbery? Whoever robbed anybody on a highway? The only person I see doing that is cops. You know what I mean? But you don't know, yeah. <laughs> But, you, but you, when you when you driving though, you should be praying to the Most High that somebody don't come out of nowhere and crash into you. Your tire could fall. Yeah, a bird could crash and win. Anything could happen. Blackout, crash. Yeah, because it was within a two week period. It happened like three times, man, three different occasions. A twig falling out of a tree. Going through a window, killing motherfuckers happening. So that's how I knew that damn. They, these, that's the spirit, man. That's the angels. That's the angels at work, man. Just showing us little examples. Yeah, so they did that shit consecutive. You know, hoping some brothers would notice it. That oh, we here. The angels is working, man. The angels is here working. Yeah, that's crazy, man. You got more than that. The hell can a twig pierce a window, a car window, man? A car window is elastic. You know, they don't, they're not easy to break. You know, they're elastic, they stretch a little bit. That's crazy. You the fear, man. Because I'm not trying to go out like two thirds. I'm not trying to go out like that's a fucking thing. Unless you got some more, I can get this out of here. Yeah, because the most high creative with this. You know what I mean? Hey, more than that, bro. Hey, more than that, bro. Or that show, Million Ways to Die. Well, no, that's Faces of Death. Jeremiah 13 and 15 says, Hear ye and give ear, be not proud, for Yahweh have spoken. Give glory to Yahweh your God before he caused darkness and before your feet stumble upon the dark mountains. Right, and really, he's, he's, what, what did he just say? He said, uh, read that again. Give glory to Yahweh your give, God. Stop right there. He said, Give glory to Yahweh. Who's Yahweh? That's the name of the Most High, okay? Because God's name is not God. That's madness. Okay, in the Hebrew Bible, the word God is nowhere in the Hebrew. It says Yahweh. Okay? And that's that, Right. Yeah, the word Jesus is not in the Bible. Jesus' real Hebrew name is Yahweh Shai. Because he was a Hebrew Israelite like we the Hebrew Israelites. And we only out here for the Hebrew Israelites. No J in Hebrew. Yeah, there's no J in Hebrew. The word Jesus is not in the, in, in the original text, in the original Bible. Okay? So go read that again. It says, Give glory to Yahweh your God before he caused darkness, before your feet stumble upon the dark mountains. And while you look for light, he turn it into the shadow of death and make it gross darkness. That's why y'all always be why all the most high don't hear my prayers. That's because you ain't putting in no work for the most high, man. He ain't, he, he ain't hearing his name too. Yeah, plus y'all don't even know his name even to pray to the most high. Yep. It's like a one-way street with these clowns. They think, you know, the most high can do everything for them, but they don't want to do nothing for him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nothing. Nothing. Little. Because they, they don't want to call on the Lord when, when they're in despair, when they're in trouble. Stress. In distress, right. When they're in 
being up, they don't think about the most high. But when they fucking damn near about to be dead on a deathbed, then they want to all of a sudden want to pray to the most high every day. No matter what your situation is. Hey, Alice Crawley is deathbed all his life. Alice Crawley went serving Satan, serving the devil. You know what I'm saying? On his deathbed, who the hell was he calling him? The Lord. <laughs> They was making mockery of it too in the hospital when they were from the drop dead. So called wickedest man ever. Right. Calling on the Lord. Jesus. <laughs> you know, your boy Charles Manson dropped dead. What you think he was from? Who we calling him? Hey, man, the Lord blessed him with that death, man. He got to I'm, ha I'm happy for Charles Manson now. He finally got it, got to escape prison. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Because Charles, y'all don't know, Charles Manson was not a white man. Charles Manson was an Israelite. He did not talk like a white man, didn't act like a white man. And he believed in the Most High, too. He, he believed in the Most High. Even though he, he was crazy, obviously. He had no leader. He had no leader. He thought he was the leader. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. But he can't. He, he did. You know, he was caring about shit like nature. I used to. Uh, I hollered at him on Twitter a couple of times. Uh, you know, because he, he had internet access in prison. You got, uh, who's you read? You got something? Okay. Jeremiah five and twenty five. Your iniquities have turned away these things, and your sins have withholding good things from you. From among my people are found wicked men. So what do we always say? Two thirds of the ones that's holding us back. So what does it just say there again? Your iniquities have turned away these things, and your sins have withholding good things from you. Withholding the kingdom of heaven. Because this is two thirds kingdom of heaven. This is their fucking kingdom. It's a fucked up kingdom indeed. For among my people are found wicked men. They, they lay wait as that set of snares. They set a trap. They catch men. That's how I like them churches. They catch you. That's how I like a lot of these Israelite groups. They'll catch you, get you up in there, rob you blind. All like, like that one dude that was up in Atlanta, what, at uh, GMS Atlanta, that came out and he was ripping brothers uh -huh. off. Yeah, because you even do with you, you can repent. Except for last week, the Holy Spirit. Yeah, but what? That's something that comes up with the label of common fucking sin. Especially when we already ain't got that. About how if you do your brother wrong, you be with him every day. What you gonna do to the most high? You don't even see the most high. Don't live with right. But your brother do every day constantly right. He said, as a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore, they are become great and wax and rich. Oh, and that they do. Hey, they make a million for dollars at IUIC. Fuck out the hammer, he ain't quiet. He about to beat the shit out of somebody. somebody. <laughs> yeah, supposed to be a man, man. You don't need no weapon. <laughs> he's like, had enough with this bitch. <laughs> well, I, I hope he's going to kill his mother. That's <laughs> what he's doing. I already yeah. know. <laughs> I'm, going to, I'm going to kill my boyfriend. Fuck that. I'm oh, going to yeah. kill my boyfriend. <laughs> he with a nigga now? Uh -uh, I ain't lying on that. <laughs> <laughs> they are waxing fat. Hey, <laughs> yeah, who does that? Hey, see, yeah, right. See, let a let a nigga walk down the street with a hammer. Oh, you like stop, put it down, <laughs> put it down. <laughs> pop, 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 pop. Like MV out two clips on here. Reload the clip. Yeah, hold on. He was still moving. He was still moving. Shit. The clock moving. God damn. They said they are waxing fat. They shine. Yes, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. Ooh. They judge not the cause, 
because of the fatherless, fatherless yet they prosper in the right of the needy, do they not judge? Hey, they said Jim the Hollow keep trading in a so new one new mind made back to the next other one, man. What? what? Keep trading, getting the, every year he's like getting a new made back. Yeah. Yeah, because when he when they separate, he has a nice ass car, nice fly as fuck. Remember when he separated from Jim when they uh, kicked him that's out? Man, he, they had millions. You know, they had millions. Can't even just drive a Honda or something. Yeah. Just, you know what I mean? You gotta get some, some fly shit. All yeah. that money for that car, it could have been a, a lot of cars you could have bought the brother. Yeah, you could have bought it. Yeah, could have bought it. Oh, he into that materialistic bullshit. Hey, you hear Tawar tell the story about how he had, I can't remember the older brother's name, man, but he had his mother's brother riding around the car that he had from the heat. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Can you imagine the car in the winter? Yeah, he was on the edge talking about my uh, shop. My shop, he was sick. Yeah. When he, the car didn't even have heat. So how the hell are you going to believe that motherfucker was a man of the Lord? He was one of the young brothers. Hey, he make merchandise of it. Yeah. Talk about that title. You gotta hate them. You gotta hate them, man. Bro, like that ain't gonna repent from, from his evil deeds until pain can start knocking, man. You know? Yeah, because a lot of guys see that Israelite thing, and they, all they see is dollar signs. That's a hell of a devil demon. I could never do no way like that, man. That's evil, man. But, you know, they will call me the devil and say he was a man of the Lord. So yeah, the real men of the Lord, they'll call you the, you're both considered the devil. Right. I got something, man. I got something. Uh, this is uh, Shabbat 40, and I'm going to start at 1. Great travail is created for every man, and a heavy yoke is upon the sons of Adam from the day that they go out of their mother's womb to the day that they return to the mother of all things. Their imagination of things to come in the day of death, trouble, their thoughts, and cause, and cause fear of heart. For him that sitteth on the throne of glory, unto him that is humbled in earth and ashes, for him that wear purple and a crown, and on him that oh. is clothed with linen and fluff. And then that wear purple. So that's not how you want to see it. You know? They think they all super righteous. Hey, because when you wear purple, bro, that's a proud spirit. That represents royalty. You know, we Israel is royalty, but you ain't supposed to be out there, you know what I mean, thinking you the hottest shit on the planet. Because really, really, like, like what did Paul say? His righteousness is but his dung or something like that? Super right. He lifted himself up. He departed and lifted himself up. Right. He stayed in reality. <laughs> yeah, reality. But really, on this side, in this kingdom, and these filthy, these bodies are compared to filthy rags. You know what I mean? So ain't none of us really great right now. We were only great for, uh, because we're doing this work. Ancestors do back in the day when they were going through the state of morning. Like, you know, shit like that. Like, the only thing I can think of right now is Esther, when she was a you know, main queen. When she started mourning and shit, she took all her shit out. She took all her, uh, her uh, you know, Billy apparel and put right. some uh, sackcloth on. Alicia? Yeah. Elijah just kind of lifted up. Yeah. They would like, shaved his hand, ripped up his arm. Yeah, they, they ripped their clothes yeah. up. Right. Yeah, so right. we in a state of mourning right now. Right. Um, Judith? Yeah. That's a good point because. IUIC, IUSBK, all these different groups, they would agree America is the kingdom of Satan, right? They would agree with that. So if you're living in the kingdom of Satan, that's not a time of rejoicing. That's a time of mourning. So you ain't supposed to be out here trying to look, you know, all to this materialistic, look on fly. Rise up and depart. You know, Jake, Jake is attracted to that bullshit, man. They see someone looking fly, they want to be a part of it. I wish they'd hurry up and hell and start chipping people. I'd be on a mass scale. Wish they'd stop playing. Yeah, they need to stop playing. Cause that, that's how, that's when you're going to really separate the real from the fake, you know? When they start chipping, you going to know who's real on that day. Because you're going to have a lot of churches and stuff. You're telling the congregation, not, that's not in the market of peace. You can take the chip. Big.
Yeah, Nate said it's not the mark of the beast is not the chip. He probably already got the chip. Yeah, he, uh, he in law enforcement. Cause, hey, cause I, uh, I know cops in Columbus said that they get the chip. So New York, New York is above Columbus. So you know they get chip. Yeah, they way in there. That's a that's a top city in America, New York. That's like the capital of the world, actually. Well, that in London and uh, Vatican City. <laughs> I guess that adds up. Yeah. But now, man, I'm long, long and strong, man. That bitch is snoring when I'm still at work. <laughs> you, get, you get the technique yeah. down. <laughs> you become a master. Yeah. That's how they make him day. Literally become a master, man. You literally become a master, man. That's in all things, man. The truth, too. Man. Yep. Until you're out here doing this work, you, you're mastering it. You're learning to master it, man. You know? You listen to any of the brothers, man. They just can go at it, man. Two -third. Let two-third come up with his one brother, man. And that one brother is holding his own against a, a, a sea of wickedness. One brother. That's all it takes. Right. Um, such things happen to all flesh, both men and beasts, and sevenfold more unto sinners. Death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scourge. Like Columbus, man. Death is on the mountain. They trying to compete with Chicago, man. That's what they trying to do. They trying their best. They ain't got no sense. They ain't got That's nobody to leave, man. Right. They had no proper guidance, man. Oh, they took the they don't even talk about it. Where they at? Five.